Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back your lovely faces to part 2 of the world exclusive by the Violin Times regarding Dan Wooten and the Royal Family. Yesterday's video went out and it was a bit of a shock to actually see certain things that were happening and obviously we've known that it's been going on for years, you know, the Royal Family and the press, it's been going on for decades. But obviously recently with all of this going on, it's mostly to do with Dan Wooten and him destroying or trying to destroy the lives of Harry, Meghan and basically anything that this man touches. So we're going to jump straight back into it. This is in plain sight. The picture, the palace probe missed. In 2020, Simon Case, today the embattled head of the British Civil Service, was tasked to investigate payments from Wooten and the Sun to his partner of a royal press officer, allegedly for information about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. He found there was no evidence of wrongdoing and that the three were not friends. The Berlin Times has found new evidence. Tom Latcham and Dan Evans reports. And this is actually the photo, as you can see it already. It's the friendship Prince William's former right-hand man, Simon Case, concluded simply didn't exist. And yet... Here, a one-time Royal Press Secretary, Christian Jones, and his publicist partner huddling together for an intimate, celebratory photograph with Cash for Leaks journalist, Dan Wooten. As you can see by here, this photo, they don't know each other. They've never met. Again, people could be looking at this and going, oh, well, it's a party. They could have all just been there. We'll get to that. The occasion was Wooten's 35th birthday party. You don't invite people you don't know to your birthday party now, do you? In March of 2018, the location was the private terrace of a £1,600 a night suite at London's exclusive hotel, The Net. The guests were 20 incredible friends of Wooten's. That's Wooten's own words as well. Handpicked to enjoy his extensive largest. The issue is that it was a friendship that... When legal documents later named Christian Jones, he flatly denied. None of which could have seemed possible, as Jones and his partner toasted the birthday boy, just a few days from winning a third British Press Award for Showbiz Reporter of the Year, and five years before he was unmasked as a serial catfish targeting young celebrities and colleagues for explicit images. They always got to throw these in there now. With Viva Colo... Coke, or I don't know who that one is, among the potted peonies and Cara marble tables on the 35 meter square entertaining terrace of a hotel suite complete with a mahogany four poster bed and roll top bathtub. Sounds nice actually. One of the party's attendees told the Bylan Times there was no expense spared. Everyone invited was part of Dan's special group of mates. Dan hired a private dining room and laid on a set menu with three options for each course. It was champagne and cocktails, and whatever you wanted from the menu. Just 28, and then a few more turned up to celebrate with Dan upstairs in his terrace, before heading on to a club in Shoreditch. It was lavish. There was no expense spared. Everyone invited was part of Dan's special group of mates. Dan paid for everything. There's apparent closeness, as illustrated by the photo Wooten uploaded to Instagram, and captioned with three hearts on the 11th of March 2018, presented a problem, however, for Jones and his long-term publicist partner. For after Jones took the job of Deputy Communications Secretary to the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge in December of 2018, Wooten paid the publicist for stories which, according to whistleblower accounts, led to a secretive internal investigation at the Sun, which feared being sucked into a leak scandal just a few years after some of its journalists were prosecuted for payments to public officials. Yeah, as you can see, with the sun here in the UK, it has been done so many times for paying for leaks from government officials, from parliament and all this kind of stuff, and it just goes to show that they ask them, they will pay for anything. If they can put something out which will sell their paper, they will do it. They don't care if it destroys anything. They're like, oh well, we'll just put it out and reap the rewards. We don't care what happens. That's the problem, and that is a huge issue. Now we got just a fluke. The Sun has never confirmed anything on the record, 
But the Boylan Investigates, the sister website of this newspaper, revealed in June of 2020 how lawyers for the Duke of Sussex, armed with credible but anonymously supplied info apparently originating from inside the Sun's publisher, News UK, were threatening to sue the tabloid over the publication of stories written by Wooten. And they were negatively spun against the Sussex, headline Nanny Mc3 and Tot Security. They were published in June and July of 2019, centred on nannying and godparenting arrangements for the Sussex's son Archie. Payments of £4,000 had been made to the publicist in August of 2019 and were identified by a way of an internal News UK accounting code. The matter had been referred to both Puckingham Palace and Britain's then top anti-terrorism police officer Scotland Yard's Neil Basu for investigation. Basu's job was to try to establish whether there was any case for a criminal prosecution for misconduct in the public office, the crime for which nine police officers were convicted based on evidence handed over by the Murdoch Media Empire to Scotland Yard's 2016 Operation Elvedon for accepting money from journalists for information. After the police failed to obtain the full identity of the whistleblowing Sun insiders, which it required to obtain a warrant to search royal property, Simon Case, to the then private secretary to Prince William, was tasked to investigate from within Kensington Palace, where Jones was employed. The Byland Times, through a number of sources close to the matter, has been able to establish some details of the investigation and the process that ultimately cleared Jones of any wrongdoing. Both he and his partner insist the allegations that Wooten paid for private information about the Sussexes are incorrect. But this newspaper can reveal, although when formally questioned by Case, who is today the head of the British Civil Service and facing tough questions at the Covid inquiry over the quality of decision making during the pandemic, Jones admitted to knowing Wooten and dealing with him on a professional basis. He strongly denied that either he or his partner were close friends with the journalist. Quite a long and involved process resulted in Prince Harry's lawyers sending a letter before action to the Sun. Of course, Christian had to be questioned by his bosses about it. He said that yes, he had known Dan for a while, but that he did not know him very well, and that Prince William's courtiers who appointed him didn't have a problem with it. Christian also told them that his partner had indeed been paid by the Sun at the time stated in the whistleblower emails, and for the amount described, but the money related to stories about clients his partner represented in their work as a publicist, and was nothing to do with Harry and Meghan. Well, to be honest with you, when you've got certain things and it's like, mate, it's almost like, oh, no, this is wrong. I need to be telling you what's happened. My publicist, uh, other half, They've done all of that because it's regarding clients that they do. Well, okay then. So you're doing it on your clients then. It still makes them look dirty, no matter which way they try and spin it. One of his partner's clients supposedly had the same name as the Duchess of Sussex. We talked about this yesterday. Meghan Markle is not exactly that common, is it? So we got Meghan Markle by here. But again, no, it's... It's all going to be about her, isn't it? Uh, publicist, Meghan Markle, uh, what do you put down? Meghan Markle, uh, not, not that. Meghan Markle, the royal, again, see, it's literally, it's, we're going to have to do a, I think, a bit of a more of a deep dive on that one, folks. There was the suggestion that this was the reason for some of the money paid and that the timing was just a fluke. On that basis, Christian faced no further action. He retained the confidence of Kensington Palace and later on had a couple of big promotions. The Byland Times has learned that Christian Jones's position was that the allegations against him ought not to have been made at all on the basis of anonymous accusations, albeit they contained many correct details, including the internal News UK code, which warranted a legitimate case for further investigation. Kensington Palace is understood to have sought to draw a line under the matter unless compelling new evidence emerged. Alongside Wooten's birthday Instagram photo, this newspaper has spoken to multiple other witnesses who say that Wooten tried to cultivate a friendship between the three. 
Yeah, we know what kind of friendship Wooten was probably after. It wasn't like it was a secret. It is true that Dan knew Jones' partner pretty well. At the time, they were quite a young publicist who had worked for a couple of the London agencies and were keen to get on in their career. You can see where this is going, folks. People who wanted to get better career options, Wooten did a few things, didn't he? We've done that covering since the end of July. Dan knew this and made a point of including the publicist in his group, beyond just seeing them at the usual premieres and TV events, where publicists and journalists tend to rub shoulders. For the publicist, knowing Dan was undeniably useful professionally. Dan had a hell of a lot of power with the Murdoch press, and the publicist sometimes had clients who either wanted to be in those papers or to be kept out of them. And that's the photo by there, folks. As you can see by here, you got Dan Wooten in the middle. Well, obviously one of the unblurred faces, which we're going to zoom in for you. Dan Wooten celebrating with my incredible friends. Love you all. And the guy's there. You know, the publicist and everything else is there. So it's like, well, you know him. So why are you saying that you don't? Well, he's so important to you, you know? They enjoyed the benefit of knowing Dan. Sometimes they got to use the son's box at the O2 for gigs. They were often around each other socially in the West End. You'd see them at the usual media haunts like Soho House and Shoreditch House. Sometimes Christian was there too. He got to know Dan through his partner. They used to go out together quite regularly for a while, sometimes in the small group, sometimes in larger ones, for food and drinks. It wasn't like it was a secret. Lots of people in their social set saw them and knew about it, and justifiably assumed they were pretty close. Wooten was at the zenith of his personal power at the Sun, and on a senior rota to periodically assume overall editing duties when Jones took up his post at Kensington Palace at Christmas 2018. Jones's principal job was to handle media matters for the Cambridges, his actual employers, with a dual role to look after the Sussexes. But a few weeks into his new appointment, Jones himself became the story. Well, obviously so, because if you're saying that you don't know someone, but there's photos of you on someone's Instagram account, and the tagline is, my incredible friends, I love them all, and you've been invited to their birthday party, it's like, come on. And if everyone knew that or presumed they were close because they were always together? Yeah, I don't know that person. You, that logic just doesn't make sense for anything. On the 23rd of January, The Sun published photos of Jones out in London's Notting Hill with the Duchess of Sussex under the headline, What a Hottie. Meghan Markle's hunky new press secretary set pulses racing as female fans urged Harry to be careful. Alongside paparazzi pictures snatched after a low-key work lunch with Meghan, who at the time was pregnant with Archie, the paper wrote, Royal fans have been left hot under the collar after Meghan Markle stepped out with her hunky new press secretary. The article went on to quote social media comments praising Jones's physical appearance and cited his LinkedIn CV, crediting the Cardiff University graduate as, oh, Cardiff University, great place as being a former Brexit speechwriter and Treasury press officer. In his new role, the piece added, he will liaise with British and international media, as well as support the Royals' charitable work and engagement. So, by the looks of things, as soon as he started working with Harry and Meghan, all these stories started coming out. As, you know, again, there's always been stories between the Royals and whatever, we went over that in the last video. But when someone like, you know, his partner was getting paid, then all of a sudden they're the press secretary for them. They're appearing in photos together. It's like, come on. It's not that hard. And it's literally not. You haven't got to be Sherlock Holmes to be like, oh, come on. You know, that is absolutely just genuinely right there together. This is going on. Oh, look, he's appearing in the paper. He's friends with Wooten. And his partner is being paid £4,000, remember, a story. Just so happened to be around the time that he started looking after him. You know, that is just too much of a coinky dink you know? It's so bizarre that some of these people are like, oh, it's nothing. No, it is something. You are literally working with someone and you're giving out stuff. It wouldn't surprise me 
if when these people went out for lunch, and obviously he said, oh yeah, I'm going out for lunch tomorrow with Megan, I'm going to this restaurant, the partner could be like, hey Dan, guess what, he's going here, make sure you get some photos and call him a hottie. Immediate management source said the article raised eyebrows at the palace, considering Jones's main job was to be a trusted point man to guide and protect his employers from invasive media coverage. Yet this was the equivalent of clattering straight into the first hurdle. Violent Times understands that any social connection between Wooten, Jones, and his partner ended following the investigations into the payments. The first said that the friendships pretty much died after this because for Jones or his partner to be seen publicly with Wooten would have been a very bad look, which it would have. The royals probably would have sacked him. Uh, they probably run. We don't need you here. You're you're literally mingling with him. He's been paid. We found out the payment because it's the same accounting code. Where are they getting the stories from? Obviously, this is it. You're literally giving the paper free stuff. Well, free stuff to them, but for them they're getting paid. Despite the inauspicious start to working life of the royal household, Jones went on to enjoy a successful three years. Yeah, he was there for during which he stepped into the shoes of Simon Case, when Boris Johnson brought him into his government during the pandemic to be the private secretary to the Cambridges. He left Prince William and Kate in January 2021, oh, a bit of a thing there, to become a partner and head of corporate affairs for Bridgepoint, a 31.56 billion private asset investment fund in the city. That's not a bad uh, jump from working for the Royals, to being a uh, partner and head of corporate affairs in a 31.5 billion pound company. Oof. Again, the Sun covered a career change, noting that Jones had enjoyed an incredibly close relationship with Prince William. The paper wrote, whereas Simon was credited, the paper wrote, whereas Simon was credited with making the Duke a statesman. Christian has really helped them to steer them through their publicly facing role during the pandemic. He's helping them to grow in confidence by gently pushing them out of their comfort zone. Yeah, they, you could see they were just, they were upping him so much. It wouldn't surprise me if they were putting all of this because they were like, right, the investigation's been going on. We kind of need some more stories. Let's be nice. Let's big them up. Maybe they'll come running back. That's what more than likely happened. Wooten did not comment on the record at the time of the 2020 Byline Investigate story, but his lawyers at Mishkondirea, one of Britain's most costly law firms, denied that any payments were made unlawfully to a public official or a proxy and claimed their client was the victim of a smear campaign by unknown bad actors. The Byline Times have put a series of detailed questions to the lawyers for the royal family, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Dan Wooten, Christian Jones, his partner, and Simon Case. There's just so much going on with all of this that it's absolutely just bizarre and mind-blowing that Dan Wooten thinks he can get away with a lot of things. Now, with this one here, obviously, with Dan Wooten being friends with Christian Jones and his partner, and his partner just happened to be a publicist, Christian Jones just happened to be, at that time, moving from Prince uh, William over to Prince Harry and helping them out, guiding them through the world. There's a lot more to that than what we're reading here. There is so much more to it. And obviously, like I keep saying, this has been known for decades, you know, the royal family and the media. And just seeing yesterday that when they said Prince Charles, if he wanted someone known, or Prince Harry or William wanted someone to know, they would tell their press person and they would put it in the papers. And that way, then, the other members of the royal family would be like, oh, oh no, they wrote this about us. Oh, no, we have to respond. Instead of just messaging each other or ringing each other and saying, Dad, I need to see you. Or something like that, you know, something absolutely bizarre. But then seeing that he posted this photo, and then they're like, oh, we don't know each other. We've never met each other. You're in a bloody photograph together, and you're with the guy on his 35th birthday. No one invites someone they don't know to their birthday party. Again, could be their partner, but again, no, it's like, come on. People, even your close friends, 
They're the ones who said, oh yeah, we assumed they were close. It's just, it's not going to end up well for him. And to be honest with you, I'm here for it all. We all know this. But ladies and gents, that's what we got. Let me know what you think of this down below. Like I say, we do have a couple more pages to go. These videos will probably come out tomorrow, Sunday, or maybe next week. I will let people know. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Do all those lovely things, and I'll see you soon.